So, you just did Oshkosh not too long ago. We did. Let's we talk did, about yeah. Oshkosh. How'd oh, yeah. you like it? Oshkosh was amazing. You know, it was definitely a memorable experience, one that I'll never forget. And it was just great getting the 2019 Raptor Demonstration Team out there to Oshkosh to perform for, you know, EAA. Now tell me about the heritage flights that you flew that day, if you can remember them. Each one of them seemed like they yeah. were very different. They were, they were very different. Uh, and each one you either had an F-22, uh, F-16, not an F-16, but you either had an F-22, the A-10, the F-35, as well as we had a couple of various uh, different warbirds out there. You had the A-1 Sky Raider, the P-51 uh, Mustang. And uh, it was just cool seeing the different formations uh, do the heritage flight profile out there. Outstanding. What was your favorite part of being out at Oshkosh? My favorite part about being at Oshkosh was just seeing all of the aviation enthusiasts come together essentially to the Super Bowl of air shows where whether you're an experimental pilot, a commercial pilot, a military pilot, you know, the common denominator was everybody's love of aviation, whether they wanted to, you love fixing airplanes or flying airplanes, just even looking at airplanes or even taking pictures or video of airplanes, just coming together and sharing best practices with your friends. Now let's also talk about that same weekend. You guys also did heritage flights at Milwaukee, correct? We did. How'd that work out? What was the uh, logistics with trying to get the 22 to fly? Stage out of Oshkosh, do Milwaukee, and then come back and then do the heritage flights later on in the day yeah. at Oshkosh. Well, you know what? Two words, teamwork and communication. Oh, so the air show staff at Milwaukee, as well as the air show staff at Oshkosh, did a great, do great job communicating, as well as deconflicting their schedules so that we can make it a win-win for both locations and both air shows. It was just a heritage flight over there? It was. The F-35 actually performed the air demonstration at the Milwaukee Air Show, and then on Friday and Saturday, uh, the air show staff at Milwaukee coordinated for us to have a tanker uh, airborne over Lake Michigan. So that, that way we could just stay airborne for one long sortie to support both events. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Oh, uh, no problem.